I know that today might be the day. The day that God decides to remind us how arrogant the sky is allowed to be, transform the ocean hue to the thickest of blood, crush our sin, and bring us into eternity, and everyone won't float up like they do in the movies. Some days I wonder what direction some of my family went in when they learned the secrets of life. On others, I wonder why God gave me the gifts that he did. How out of all the cocktails in the world, I became such a perfect mixture of my kin, the ability to see the world in 3D like my mother, learning how to laugh at my own mistakes like my father, depending on the person they say I look like one or the other nowadays, I know that I get my eyes from my great-grandfather. I always tell my new love interests about how when I was born, they were green, changed from aqua sea blue to cement gray, and on one random day, they decided to land on my brown. They change whenever they want to. They never seem to believe me until they see the pictures. I've always had a belief that life can often be described as a collection of pictures, snapshots, to remind us how quickly college days pass and how some people change over time. I've accepted that time waits for no one. I believe that blessings can pass you by. I know that I've spoken to angels before, that God sends the answers to certain prayers with people, so I know to always be willing to listen. I know that if you allow your ears to hear, you can understand the whisperings of ancestors in the autumn wind of your city, see? Being in St. Louis reminds me that there's nothing like your city's lights. The allure of the possibility and the beauty of imagining them transform into camera flashes. That their glow can replace the stars that you always wanted to shoot down since you were three. Playing in the Pee Wee Football League because that was the best way your father could begin teaching you to be a man. Taking the dance class to get you out the house. I had one with Nico Smith once. I'm sure he does not know me. Even though I have no experience, I can promise you that parenting is not easy. I know that my city has one degree of separation. That if you know someone who knows someone, you are instantly connected like dots on maps, like cities being stared upon from airplanes shooting past the arch to welcome you to Lambert's. On one occasion, I was told that being from here was like a vortex, all intent of sucking you in with no return on investment. That to succeed, you had to take your talents elsewhere like eagle wings begging to break free, and some of the best never found the key to the lock that could let them fly. I was taught to never lie or be angry when speaking, but to always act in patience. Some days I forget when talking in occasion to something that I'm passionate about. I've always thought that all water should be free. That 90% of the human body thrives on what you give it, and the freshman 15 can quickly go into the senior 65 if you let it. I've learned that I believe in love still, that sometimes it's all about the excitement and the thrill, and being in love is about what you do when the thrill fades, that we place poker faces in front of first dates because we don't want to get hurt again like we did the last time. I've learned that making yourself not feel can only leave someone else wanting to cry. I've always been okay with wiping away tears. Showing someone else that Kryptonian strength was only as far away as you can spread your heart and your brain. I've heard once that you can spread them as far as a football field. I've never understood the urge to kill. I know that being in a fraternity does not make you a man, nor does it mean that somehow the Greek culture was instantly inserted intravenously into your bloodline's hands, but that you were amazing for standing for long periods of time, holding things close to your hearts, and never letting things come between lines like a Spartan begging for wartime. I know that white privilege is still very alive and well. I know that some people may never understand. I've heard that it's impossible for humans to walk on clouds, but I've seen writers who can make you feel like you can when you close your eyes. I despise winter snow, but I hate extreme heat. I hate that some people think that a black president means the dream has been realized. I accept that there's nothing easy about being one of Christ's chosen. I know that in time, there will be moments when you feel broken, shattered, tattered, cut off at the knees, and I guarantee you that God will tell you that you aren't allowed to stop breathing. I'm not done with you yet, he will say. Back in the day, I wonder if my grandparents had dreams. At 16, with three kids debating places to live, did they think that life was a metaphorical prison, or did they pick themselves up by the bootstrap singing, Freedom, freedom, I will put my fist to the sky, and make this work for my grandchildren's children. I pray that my children know that they are worth more than twerking scholarships, that my son doesn't take the habit of nail-biting like I did my father, or the drinking of my uncle. There are still certain types of captain that I can't ingest anymore from the stories that we have made, most of which I can barely remember. I still is tempted some days anyway. Life has shown me that nothing can ever replace the moments that you pray. I know what God looks like. I've laid hands on the sick, taken their burdens like Atlas, and I've watched their demons attempt to take comfort in my household. I've learned that when you're at your weakest, it's really when you're at your most bold. I know that certain types of music could never grow old, that in Colombia, or Colombia, or Puerto Rico, or Japan, Michael Jackson can still make everyone dance. I've seen it firsthand. I know that there is beauty in the eye of the beholder. I don't believe in the phrase, if it's meant to be, it will be. I know that in the worst of situations, laughter and good company fixes everything. I know that wisdom comes from the life that we have seen. I know that I am wise because I was once foolish. I accept that I was extremely naive at 18, 19, and 20, and I saw the best in most human beings. Some days I wish I still could. I believe that a fresh haircut and a full tank of gas can raise even the most bruised 
ego that the beauty of naps can only be replaced with the solidarity of dreams or spending an entire day with someone you love watching Netflix. Growing up taught me that I hate politics, the lack of genuineness it brings, the fake smiles, backwards talking and handshaking. I accept that there is no choice but to stay informed anyway. One day, we will look back at all of these love poems. The girls that we had the chance to love and the crushes that you didn't. The days when you felt that your heart had been depleted in four places, thrown in opposite directions and rebuilt again. We will consider this and more. Try to reimagine our existence from middle Missouri to the nearest shore and I know that somewhere within my ramblings you will find exactly what it is that you're looking for.